You feel like you're on a treadmill and sometimes going no place fast? No, I think we're improving. I think everyone feels positive. You know, we played the champs last night and we're tied with two minutes left after making a, you know, a lot of mistakes and a lot of ineff inefficiency. So, you know, we're growing. We'd won a couple before that. And we uh, had a chance to win last night. So it's important for us to go on the road positive and try to, you know, get a, get a bunch of wins going. See, what do you take away from that, from last night's game that you guys need to still get some work going on? Yeah, I mean, both ends of the floor, but in, in particularly uh, offensively. I thought our defense was pretty good, except for the turnovers that led to fast break baskets. So, you know, offensively, we, we look a little bit at times, against, especially against good defensive teams, like we're, you know, we just shook hands before the game. You know, we, we don't know each other that well, and we're still trying to figure it out. So that's going to come, and, you know, last night was a great experience for us. I think it's going to make us a better team. Let's talk about your role, I guess, with shooting more often and, you know, what you're feeling out there. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I'd like to shoot more. I mean, we're a pick and roll team, and they double team me on the pick and rolls most nights now. So, until we get a chemistry and we make people pay for double teaming me on the pick and rolls, you know, I might not be getting a lot of like a lot of looks. But down the line, I think we'll figure out ways with the talent we have to to invite people to double team the pick and rolls, and that'll, I think, uh, you know, cause them to change looks or or to loosen up a little bit. And Steve, as we get deeper into the season, you know, time's wasting as far as you guys getting to the playoffs. The playoffs are starting to become more and more into the distance. Yeah, I mean, the playoffs have been uh, on the edge for us for weeks now, so we, we got to just continue to win at a good rate, you know, two of three or three of four the rest of the way somehow, and, uh, and just, you know, get on a streak at some point maybe and, uh, and see if we can sneak in. What kind of reception are you expecting personally in Toronto on Sunday, especially because you kind of have that flirtation in the offseason? Yeah, I have no idea. Uh, you know, I've always gotten an incredible reception up there, but since I didn't sign with them, you know, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Have, have you thought much about that since, since you've no. become a Laker? No, no moral victories. Um, you know, we lost, but there's things to take from it that can allow us to win other games. So, you know, I, I don't, it's not a, you know, a situation where we got to hang our heads. We got to take the good things and build and, and allow them to help us. But there's no moral victories. Last three games, you guys have really been able to buckle down when you had to, you know, except last night. Um, why the changes? Just you guys are finally coming together. I think cohesion. You know, understanding each other, uh, getting guys. More time and experience together on the floor allows us to be more cohesive, and uh, you know we we know where we're supposed to be and what we're supposed to be doing instead of guessing or thinking or you know or, um, a lot of times you know we hesitate. And now I think we're a little bit more comfortable. Because of that, does that allow you to expand your game a little bit? They were talking about you shooting the ball more, so like make you a little more comfortable out there. Well, I was talking about the defense, you know, I think, but offensively, you know, we've got a ways to go. I mean, we, we still got to figure out ways to make people pay at a higher rate when they double team the pick and rolls. If if we do that, you know, then, then it'll loosen up and I'll probably get more looks. Kobe was saying last night because of his, his, you know, workload defensively increase, and it feels like he needs more help just in terms of the offense. What steps do you think the team could take to yeah, I mean, I just think, Yeah, I mean, Again, we, we've got advantages out there. You know, if they're double teaming the pick and rolls, it should be four on three, three on two, two on one situations, and we're not quite getting to them at a high enough rate. Um, you know, I also think we had a hard time getting the ball inside last night, and we got to be much more efficient at that. You know, we allowed their fronts to take us out of some of our post steps. So, a lot of areas to improve, make the game easier for everybody. And I think if if everyone's more efficient, then it takes a lot of pressure off Kobe. Are you going to start looking to score more? Well, I'd love to, but if, like I said, we're a pick and roll team, they double team the pick and rolls. You know, it's hard to, to get opportunities. So, but once we make them pay for double team and pick and rolls, and we get the ball in spots where it's like I said, two on ones, three on twos, you know, we take advantage. You know, they'll probably change their defense.